Now at 15 inches per minute, there's no vibration anymore. So it looks like this coupler and its attachment was the problem. Let's see how it does that. Uh, this will be 75 inches per minute. There's some noise. The motor's not shaking, the motor's very smooth. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's better now. You know, I bet it's those tubes hitting the inside of the plastic. Let's try uh, full speed, 150 inches per minute. Yeah, that's real nice. So there's no vibration anymore. Let's see what the lead screw looks like if it whips at 150 inches per minute. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the lead screw. Let's see if we can get it to whip. There it is. So that looks pretty smooth for the lead screw. Uh, on the ball screw machines, there's a plate here that captures the lead screw with a ball bearing. Uh, I was thinking I might have to add that here, but it doesn't seem too bad. Now let's see how much we can push this. All these dip switches right now in the servo are set to 800 pulses per revolution. And that translates to 16,000 steps per unit in UCCNC. And as I mentioned before, I can't go above 100 kilohertz. Uh, if I go to 200 kilohertz or 400 kilohertz, the, the servo doesn't turn or turns extremely slowly. So anyway, 100 seems to be the limit for the servo. So I'm going to put this to 300 and apply the settings and go down to 50%, which should be 150 again. Now I'm going to go to 70%. That's 240. So that's real nice. Now I do hear some... You can hear that. Let me check the lead screw now. Check the lead screw at 240 inches per minute. Still seems alright. Alright, that's 240 inches per minute. Let's go to 90%. That's 270. Oh, I tripped out. So this has been happening with the servo if it goes way too fast. It either alarms out with a light going on or it loses power entirely. Uh, and then the only way I can fix that is to unplug the whole system. Wait a minute and plug it back in. And actually it still doesn't come back online. Sometimes when it has this error, I have to let it sit for a minute. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. I mean, these are pretty small gauge wires for the 48 volts here. It's just temporary. Yeah, now it's powered back on.
Well, where were we? We were at 270 inches per minute. That's uh, that's above the rated RPM of the motor. I think this motor is rated for about 4,000 RPM. So let's go back to 300. Apply. Now at 30 inches per minute. Real smooth. I'm going to put it at 300, but I'm going to lower the acceleration. Let's see if we can get a better motion that way. To 5 inches per minute. did the same thing it lost power anyway so I'm pushing the servo well above its design limit but it's fun just seeing the TAG try to move that fast okay we're back at 150 inches per minute acceleration at 17 side by side the UCC and C on the right and the JMC servo parent, uh, software on the left and you can see uh, right here where's the mouse speed commanded RPM so that goes to 3000 at 150 inches per minute so now let's go back to uh, UCC and C and we'll go to 200 inches per minute and apply. It's 200 and over here now. Speed command is. That was 4,000 RPM. seems pretty strong to move it at 200 inches per minute. There's still some vibration. Let me look at the lead screw under there. At 200 inches per minute at the whip at the end. I'm going to go all the way to the end. So now here the screw has the most overhang. Where is it? There it is. Now the screw has the most overhang here. Let's see what the whip looks like at 200 inches per minute. Still not bad. So right there, there was some rattle. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. So 200 is probably a little too fast, I'd say, for this. But uh, I think 150 and apply. Now it's 150. I don't really have any weird noises. And that's plenty fast. So this is, and the, the motor is barely warm to the touch. It's totally cold here. Here it's a little bit warm, but I mean like a lukewarm water temperature. This is cold. Yeah, so this is cold just here on the heat sink area. It's a little bit warm. So 150 inches per minute. 